Hello. This video shows how to upgrade Automatic 11.11 to use SDXL 1.0 and some tips on how to run SDXL on GPUs with lower VRAM such as mine which has only 8GB of uh, VRAM and some things to avoid at the time being to avoid getting errors such as when using LoRa's in the refiner and base model. We will also include a simple comparison between SDXL and SD.1.5. Now this video will also explain how to use the refiner as a base model. Okay, so it replaces the base model entirely and can produce a better results sometimes and faster without the need to switch from the base model to the refiner, which could actually take about one minute in some cases. Okay, for example, this image was generated using the refiner and this is how it was refined using the refiner once again. Okay, this is another case where we can see that uh, even a simple uh, image like this, which was generated using the refiner as a base model, okay, using text to image, then we refined it further using the refiner itself without switching and generated high quality image like this. We will see the, uh, how this works. Now this image is generated using SD, uh, SD 1.5. We can see, for example, four sample images that in most of the images, uh, the anatomy is wrong, okay? The horse is not worked. Only one out of four was actually good. Now, when we came to Stable Diffusion XL, and I generated many images, okay? And all of them had correct anatomy of the animals and the human. Okay, so this shows the difference, the big difference between SDXL and SD 1.5 or SD 2. So to use uh, Stable Diffusion XL, in Automatic 11.11, we need at, uh, version 1.5.1 in Automatic 11.11. Now, most people have installed uh, the previous version, so what we do is an upgrade. If you did not install this version, you can see the installation instructions here, or check my other videos or other people's videos. Now, for the upgrade, we just go to Stable Diffusion folder. We check Web UI User. We click Edit. Now, normally, we might have something like this. So we add exformers to speed things up, how to launch to make things faster. So we just try to git pull, then save this file and run it again, and it will automatically update into the, the newest version of 1.15. Now, uh, we should also download the base model and the refiner model. Now, both of these models are basically independent, so they can work uh, standalone, each of them. Uh, they can also work like uh, the refiner can work in image to image or can work as a pipeline for the stable diffusion base model. So we go to the base model first, go to files, then we download the base uh, model. Okay, now for the base model, we would put it in the models folder and stable diffusion, like any other, uh, other model. We just save here and download it. We can also download the LoRa file. This LoRa is useful as well because it, may, it might be able to make the images slightly better. And we download it here in the LoRa uh, in the LoRa folder. We go back and also uh, download the refiner. Okay, in the same methodology, we go to files and just download it and put it in the same Stable Diffusion checkpoints folder. Then we go and run the Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 user interface. Now, initially, when we try to run uh, the model, we can choose which model to use. For example, the base model. Now, it will take uh, a long time to uh, up to load to load up. Okay. So when I try to generate a, a photo, for example, I get out of memory error, crude memory, etc. So it tells me that we, we have a problem. My GPU is only eight gigabytes. So I need to resolve this. If we go to the optimizer settings of an automatic 11.11 we can see that there's an option called mid VRAM or low VRAM. So I would go for testing mid VRAM first. If it did not work, I would test low VRAM. Okay, so we go back. Then I would edit back here. What I would do is mid VRAM. I will also add updated checks so that I don't need to use git pull each time. I will only use git pull when there's an update. I will save it. Always make sure to have Xformers and auto launch depending on, uh, on your uh, GPU. Then we close, we save uh, this file and run Stable Diffusion once again. Okay, if we use a simple prompt that includes the usage of LoRa, 
this offset lower provided by stability AI, we can use it with a smaller weight and generate an image. In the first time we generate an image, it will take a very long time. In my case, it took approximately one minute. Now, the second generation will be faster. For example, 22 seconds. Uh, the first generation takes approximately one minute. Okay, if we want to refine this using the refiner, we would send it to image to image. In the image to image, we could use the same prompt or uh, alter it slightly. Now, we have all to switch to the refiner. Now, switching to the refiner also took approximately one minute. When I try to generate with Allura, we actually get an error. Okay, as you can see, uh, there's an error. Now, in order to fix this error, we have to remove the LoRa. The refiner is still unable to use the LoRas. Okay, now regarding the denoising level, we should reduce the denoising level if you want to maintain the same shape. Okay, this will also reduce the time required to do the rendering. Okay. Now, when we increase the denoising level, not only the time will increase, but also the picture will change a lot. So 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 will give uh, good results in general. Now, when we compare the refiner with the base model, we can see that, uh, for example, here, the helmet is slightly more detailed. Um, okay, some of the picture, picture did have uh, some extra details, some uh, not so much, okay? But in general, the refiner produces slightly better results. Okay, it's not required all the time. The refiner could also be used as a base model. Okay, so if we use, for example, but if we try to use the refiner model with a large image size, we get uh, bad results. So it's better to use lower image size, such as 768 by 768. Okay, so let's test, for example, a large image size and the difference between the two. So we can see here, for example, the refiner alone is a failure in terms of generating large uh, size images. It does not produce good uh, large size images. This is why we need smaller size images in order to get good, re good results with the refiner. If we want to use the refiner as base model alone, for example, if we reduce the image size, we might get something better. We might not get that much improvement. So this is with a smaller image size with the refiner. We can see that as a base model, which is not recommended, but it can, it can be used as well in this methodology so that we don't keep switching between this uh, between the base model and the refiner in automatic 11.11. Now in Confi, it, use, it works as a pipeline, which is faster. Now we could also try reducing the size of the image in the refiner. We can see that it can produce better results with uh, smaller image sizes. Then we can take these images back to image to image and then scaling, uh, scale them up, for example. And this is one, uh, one of the use cases of, uh, okay, so we can then increase this like 24, use a small denoising level or 0 0.3 because I want better details, for instance, then run it again using the same refiner model. This is just to save time and one of the use cases of the refiner. Now the picture is really better. Now, this is another example of we use an image size of 640 by 640 in the refiner model. It actually works really good. Okay. So as we can see now, the image is way much more realistic and has changed the details of the pictures. So basically, it's possible to use the refiner as a base model, but we need to use lower image dimensions. It's better to always use uh, images in multiplication of 128, such as 512, 640. So this is it, and uh, have a good day.